Okay, today we're going over the war in Europe. Okay, the war in Europe. Now, when the United States entered the war, again, we declared war on Japan, and its allies, or its friends, declared war on us, which is going to be Italy and Germany. So, United States energy was towards defeating Germany. Hitler controlled most of Europe and North Africa. The biggest mistake for Hitler was when he invaded the Soviet Union in 1941. So now he's going to have two big enemies. One is the Soviet Union and the United States and Great Britain on the other side. The United States and Great Britain promised Stalin they would open a second front. So now Hitler is being bombarded on both sides. The Allies was the United States, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union, while the Axis powers, right, who we fought against, is the JIG, J-I-G. Italy, sorry, Japan, Italy, and Germany, right? Japan, Italy, and Germany, and they are the Axis powers. Now, the campaign in Africa and Italy, remember, Benito Mussolini invaded Northern Africa, so of course there's going to be some kind of battle in Africa. It says in 1942, the Allies went into North Africa and defeated Germany. And then they went into Italy. So from here, from this way, right, you can see the movement upwards. Now, World War II in Europe and in Africa, 1942 to 1944, you can see um, the different operations, right, which are the different attacks or battles. Um, and you can see in the way that they go. So it's going to be in North Africa and again this way into Italy. Now on the other side, the Soviet Union is going to hit Germany from the east side while Great Britain and the United States is going to hit from the west side on this side. And of course from the south. Now George Patton is one of the important generals. He is the commander of the forces that invaded North Africa and Sicily, which is Italy. He participated in the expedition also against Pancho Villa. He served under John J. Pershing in World War I, and he played an important role in the use of tanks, right? The use of tanks. He was popular due to his high survival rates, but known to be mean to his soldiers, right? There is a movie on George Patton. He had a killer instinct, right? He followed his gut feeling a lot. Now, the Allies invade France and Germany. Right? We have to invade France because it is controlled by Germany, right? German controls France. June 6, 1944 is D-Day, one of the most important days of this war that you have to know. June 6, 1944. It's also known as Operation Overlord. Overload. Sorry. It says in 156,000 Allied troops under Dwight D. Eisenhower landed in Normandy, France. The largest land, air, and sea attack in U.S. history, and it's the turning point in the war in Europe. We were able to surprise attack them, right? They had no idea that it was coming in this way, right, on the beaches of Normandy. Um, and here is one of the most famous pictures from D-Day itself, or from World War II. And you can see here when the, the ramps are out, you have all your men this way, and along all this area right here, you're going to have German troops firing back at American soldiers. If you've ever seen the movie Saving Private Ryan, that first scene is going to be the D-Day scene. Omar Bradley was chosen to lead the first American army to land in France. So that's another one of your people that you need to know, Omar Bradley. Now here is where Bradley led, and it's going to be the first uh, army. At Utah Beach and Omaha Beach, right? These two right here. And then you're going to have Juno Beach, Sword Beach, and uh, Gold Beach, which is on this side. Now, the Battle of the, of the Bulge. It says the Allies moved east. The count, they were counterattacked by the Germans, and it's December 1944. It says the United States, Great Britain, and Free France, right? Because after D-Day, the United States had more control of France, and now we continue to move east into Germany. So they attacked from the west. Sorry, yeah, they attacked from the west, and the Soviet Union attacked Germany through the east. So now this is going to be the Battle of the Bulge. And here you can see Germany. The blue is going to be the Allies. Uh, or the United States and Great Britain, and the red's going to be Russia. And here you can see how uh, the, uh, Germany was bombarded. It's May 1945, and Berlin is captured. Berlin is the capital of Germany, and it is captured. Germany then surrenders, right? 
So I really like this picture because you can have, well, you have Great Britain, the United States, and the Soviet Union all hitting Hitler. Now, Vernon Baker is the first African-American soldier to see combat in war. He, was, he removed three machine gun nests, two observation posts, and two bunkers. He's a member of his member of his platoon nominated for the Distinguished Service Cross. 52 years later, President Clinton awarded him the Congressional Medal of Honor, 52 years after World War II. And there he is. Now, the last thing here is going to be the Holocaust, right? As Hitler was dealing with the war, he's also going to deal with the Holocaust. Uh, the first thing you need to know is genocide. This is an effort to murder an entire people or nationality. And in this case, the people who he did not want were the Jews or any handicap or gypsies or anybody who was not blonde hair, blue eyed or Aryan. The Holocaust is an attempted suicide of the Jews during World War II. His final solution is a plan to murder all European Jews. They were mainly sent to concentration camps created to, ki to speed up the killing process. Right? And you'll see pictures like these in your books. Right? If you have any questions, you let me know. And in class, we'll be going over the liberation of these camps.